So now as the country prepares for El Nino rains, a spot check at the Homer Bay Fish shows that um, is need for there's need for sensitization and financial cushion to residents who basically depend on fishing on Lake Victoria as the main economic activity. This comes as preparation for El Nino uh, rains intensifies in the lakeside counties. Homer Bay County gov government, uh, being the first to launch an El Nino management plan, has, as Bramwell Buire reports. Early this month, the Meteorological Department issued an alert that some parts of the country are likely to experience El Nino phenomenon during the October-December short rain season. <laughs> At the Homer Bay Fish Pier, which is one of the leading fish landing sites in the county. Residents here agree on the need to intensify the awareness campaign ahead of the expected rains. El Nino niko, mnemvua, mvua kubwa. El Nino na arivu sisi, kama unausa. Kama unakuja na mvua nyingi, ata kuusa wesi kuusa. Hii mvua ya niniyo ya El Nino, naona kama ita... Government of the president, Mr. William Ruto, so that they can help us with more safeties in the water, so that we can make our passengers and those who and the business to be safe. The rainfall is expected to continue through to January next year. With this in mind, Homa Bay County Beach Management Units are calling for urgent interventions to protect fishermen and fishmongers who depend entirely on the fish business. Uh, yeah, this is a key sector, a subsector that uh, employs a lot of people and a lot of women. And uh, given that uh, we are going to have troubles with it, then calls for alternative livelihood for those that are those that are in, uh, directly engaged in omena fishing. And not even omena fishing alone. You'll realize that El Nino comes with a lot of floods, and the flooding will affect accessibility to the landing sites. So that means that uh, the cost of fish will definitely be affected by lack of accessibility by our customers to the lake. The last time Kenya experienced such conditions was in 2006 and the worst El Nino season occurred in 1997. Homer Bay County Beach Management Unit Chairperson Edward Oremo is worried about the effects of the rains. There's possibility of uh, the toilets there getting into the lake. There are possibility of the sewage uh, system like the other time there were heavy rains, the sewage burst into the lake. So we need as the, uh, the leadership of the beach management unit to sensitize our people but we also need to call upon both the national and the county government to ensure that there is adequate measures that will mitigate any form of uh, diseases any form of loss of loss of livelihood any form of disaster speaking during the official unveiling of the awareness campaign Homer Bay Governor Gladys Wanga said the move will help create awareness on the El Nino preparedness and resilience. If you look at the strategy that we are launching today or the plan that we are launching today, it's a sector-based um, uh, plan. So we are taking a multi-sectoral uh, and multi-agency uh, approach. So each sector has outlined what they're doing in the immediate, what they're doing pre the flooding, what they're doing during the flooding and what they're doing post the El Nino and so in every area. Governor Wanga has called on collective response from the national government and development partners. We must have a robust resource mobilization uh, plan so that we reach out to our partners, to as many people as possible to help us during this season so that even after the El Nino, we don't come out and all we can do within the financial year is only to respond to the effects of El Nino and not do any other programs within our uh, ADP uh, for this financial year. The Lakeside counties are among the regions mapped out as risk prone due to the El Nino rains. Bramwell Wire, Kete News in Homer Bay County. So now